I'm Scott Carpenter, and you're in Campus Social Time with Scotty C. We all remember the 2012 Olympics in London, and one of the stars of that was Gabby Douglas, who became the first woman of color to win the Olympic all-around in gymnastics. And now she is training here in Westerville, Ohio at Buckeye Gymnastics. It couldn't be more dramatic. The women's all-around comes down to one last routine. And it's a Gabby go! When 16-year-old Gabby Douglas became the first woman of color to win the women's individual all-around gold medal at the Olympics, she surprised everyone. All right, here at Buckeye Gymnastics in Westerville, Ohio, alongside Gabby Douglas. And Gabby, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. You've gotten a lot of media attention today, and it seems like you've done very well in your interviews. Oh, so thank you. Thank I'm, you. I'm ready for a good one with you. So, um, first of all, what has life been like since the 2012 Olympics? Oh, my goodness. Life has just totally been just amazing, crazy. I've been getting to do a lot of, like, amazing opportunities, like red carpets and, like, charity events. So it's all been so much fun. Yeah, we saw you were all over every sort of talk show. Everybody wanted to talk to you. What was that like going to all that attention all of a sudden oh my gosh I just took it in and I was just like wow like this is like so like amazing experience for me and um, it's kind of a lot but I just dealt with that as you know as I could mm -hmm. and you took it very well and uh, before all of this success what inspired you to be a gymnast uh, actually my older sister encouraged my mom to put me in gymnastics so my oldest sister, I have to give it to her. Okay, and was it the your older sister? Did she do gymnastics? Yeah, she was. A, she was also a gymnast. Okay, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yep. And what has it been like? You made that. You've had now a Nike sponsorship, mm -hmm. and you've declared pro. What has that transition been like to the professional level? Um, it's been amazing, and I have really good sponsors behind my back, and it's kind of different because of the level of like intensity of gymnastics that I do, and also appearances have just been. Um, different than like an average gymnast. Yeah, absolutely. And now you're here in Buckeye and Westerville is so glad to have you. What attracted you to Buckeye and the coaching staff? I am. I'm here in Buckeye and I just have to say I really love it here and I was put in a situation where I had to relocate and find another coach and I saw that Kitty um, had a really good strong program so I contacted, actually my mom contacted one of the um, coaches that actually goes here and he trained me in LA so I was like Let's not try it out. Let's yeah. try it out. Absolutely. And it's been working well so far? It has. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's just been so amazing, well welcoming, and I'm just in a happy place right now. See, even though you are compete at such a high level, I'm sure you have the proper intake of oh, yeah. a lot of, but mm -hmm. you still like snack food and all I that? I still have a sweet tooth. I do. Okay. So there's that human side mm -hmm. of it, at least. Yeah. Because yeah. my big, I don't know about you, but my big, I can't get over it, is ice cream. I love ice cream. Yeah. Cold Stone. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, favorite thing when you go through Cold Stone? Um, cheesecake fantasy. Oh, how's it going? Have you ever been the? <laughs> 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 ever been the Cheesecake Factory? I have. Do you like cheesecake as like? Oh no. No. It's funny. I don't like cheesecake. I hate cheesecake actually. But the cheesecake flavored ice cream, the golden. <laughs> okay. That seemed weird. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another social segment. I'll see you around Campus Heidelberg. Until next time, take care, Berg.